Hi guys, in this part of the tutorial I am going to show you how to register a domain name. Um, for those of you who know how to do this, this tutorial won't be necessary, but for those who don't, I'll sh run it through you really quickly. So I'll come to godaddy.com, which is the domain registrar I use. There's a, a number of domain registrars you can use, and if you prefer them, by all means, use those. But I use GoDaddy, all of my d domain names are there with them. I won't sign in, but if you are not registered, which you should have been because we registered in the first tutorial, register and then sign in and come here to search domain name. The other tool that you should use before or with GoDaddy is the instant domain search tool that I've spoken about in other tutorials and I'll include a link to this at the bottom of the, tutor the tutorial. It's a free service and it's really good because it enables you to quickly and instantly search for domain names that you want to register and it will immediately update whether they're available or not. So it's a really simple service. You just type here to search for a domain name and you know down here it will load whether it's available or not so dogsandcats.com isn't available but if I type dogs and funny cats maybe so then it becomes available so you know instantly whether it's available if you do this in GoDaddy you enter it search your domain you know it'll load it'll say this is already taken and then you'll have to come back and search another one so the instant domain name just allows you to type in whatever domain name that you think you want to want to buy and it will tell you whether it's available or not and it'll tell you straight away so you don't buy it here I'd still come back and buy it at GoDaddy but you know this will just help you to see whether it's available or not and when you're choosing your domain name a lot of people are interested in choosing a domain name that is search engine optimized friendly which means that Google will be able to spit your website out you know higher in its rankings I don't worry too much about it especially with the domain names it's got to the point now where Google's more interested in the quality and content of your site than the domain name I mean it's been building like that for years and years but now the domain name is just it should just be branded to be whatever you want Pick something that is rhythmic, something that rhymes, and there's a site called the rhymezone.com, and that will, it's like a thesaurus. You can punch in any word and it will give you some rhyming words for it. So, you know, domain names, two word domain names that rhyme are good. It's just got to sound punchy. So, you know, you type in dog and search, and it'll tell you. All of the words that rhyme with dog, so you can go, you know, cog dog or hog dog or so you know, rhyming words sound good. Be careful not to add plurals, and I'll ha I'll, I'll put a link to a resource at the bottom of this that will assist you in choosing the right domain name, one that I found helpful. But once you have your domain name in mind and you know that it's available, come over to uh, GoDaddy and I'll search I'll show you how I've already registered my domain name so I'll go through the process with you with this one so we'll go search domain and I apologize for the speed of the internet today okay so when it's available it'll say you know your domain is available um, it will invite you to add the .com version or you can add .net, .info, .org. You can also come down here and add them individually. These are all on sale at the moment, which is good. So if you want the .com one, which I only ever just buy the .com one. I know if you want to buy the .net, the .info, the .org, you can, but I think the .com is enough. So you select it and hide that and then continue to cart. So once it's selected, you want to go to the cart. Okay, so step one, privacy, protecting my personal information. There is a website service called Whois, and Whois publishes 
the details of all the domain registrations. It will publish your name, your address, your phone number, all of your contact details registered with the domain. And this, by purchasing this at $7.99 per year or $14.99 protects your information and ensures your domain name is shielded from misuse. This one just protects your personal information so it doesn't publish, it stops your information being published on who is. And that's $7.99 a year and this is $14.99 a year. So decide whether you want to protect your privacy by not having your details published on who is. That'll obviously add a price. At the moment, don't worry about website builder and hosting. Well, you won't worry about it then anyway because we're hosting our website on the Rainmaker platform. Don't worry about hosting. Add email to your domain. So for $5 a month, you can add a email. So you can have your name at your domain name.com. So if my domain name is the dogs and funny cats one, it'll be, you know, Tom Allen at dogs and funny cats.com. So you can add that there for $5.99 a month. That gives you two addresses, two gigabytes of storage, and it goes up there with the price. And once you have that, you continue to cart and I assume that this just will take us to where we pay for it hopefully there's nothing else that you need to select or opt out of close down these in the meantime Okay, so there we go. So you can select your term. One year is nine dollars, I think, and then goes up from there. So nine ninety nine, you know, up to ten years, which is probably hundred bucks almost. So here it asks you again if you want to keep your hundred and fifty bucks, if you want to keep your name private, if you want to download any more website builder, we don't need to worry about. So, you know, if you think it's you're only going to last a year, then get a year. But if you think you can do it for more than one year, then you can get the others. And it just depends how much you want to spend. And then you just proceed to check out and change your currency there. So you'll be a returning customer because you've already got an account. So you just need to sign in here and that'll just take you through to the payment process. So once you've done that, then you have your domain name ready to go and that's all you need to do for this stage.